Hello my Suarez, it's Hey Keisha and I'm just here to do a video. I just wanted guys to tell you guys um, about my miracle um, job that I got. Yeah, but this is prior to this has this is like a one year ago so i just wanted to share that experience with you guys so i got laid off from my job and um that is another story which i will share with you guys that is a job from a nightmare it was so bad so i got laid off from that job and i started looking started looking i kept it honestly as a secret no one really knew i was i got laid off because again i don't like when people are feeling sorry for me or like worried about me because the thing is at the time we had two homes and i know i know like a lot of people like how are you gonna manage how are you gonna pay two mortgages and one was rented and we were living in one so you know i i don't like the pity so i try to keep it from to myself and i just hit 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 send off resume and try to get back into the workforce so i got another job offer and so this job offer they do not pay as much as what i was asking for and so they offer me the position they kind of take two thousand off of what i was asking for it was okay so i went i went to that job honestly and it was like um i was in school the the bell rings when it's break time bell rings when it's lunch time and it's like work 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 so stressful i noticed a lot of my colleagues at the time that was working they wouldn't take their breaks they wouldn't take their lunch and they were right through their breaks like they do their their entire eight hours without taking lunch or break or they i guess they eat at their desk and i asked you know why don't you guys take your lunch and i feel pressured like i have to sit there too because i'm looking i will look away if i do go on my break or my lunch because i would be the only person doing that so i feel so pressured that i have to sit there while they're working and i, I just it, it didn't feel right for me i'm not used to it i just i believe in taking your breaks and taking your lunch and i believe as a manager you should be promoting for people to take breaks like you're gonna go insane not taking breaks it's, it's not honestly good so i was like God, I started to pray and I'm God, I know you provide this job for me. I know you provide this job and it's paying the bills. It's okay. It's, I'm making more than what I was making because each time, as I said, each time that I'm getting a job, I just ask I up and up. I, I just give myself raises. So I was like, no, you know what? I need a job. That, I need a career job. This is this doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm in high school. It doesn't feel like it. I just not feeling it. It's, it like, And I just was just throwing it all to that god and i was just it's good sometimes when he give you something you know sometimes he will change and change his mind if you speak to him and explain stuff to him as i'm looking for a career i'm not looking for just a job or sometimes when you're asking you have to be careful how you ask may i may have asked for a job probably that's what i asked for and i had to go back and said no god i need a career um this job thing is not gonna work out for me i feel like i'm in school it's my mind everything wasn't i just i just i was so unhappy getting help getting dressed going to work I, I just wasn't there because it was like a go 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 like a robot and 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 it's just not cool for me so i put it before god and i put it and i prayed and i prayed and i prayed and i went to um two interviews and yeah i got turned down from those two jobs they were like i like you you're gonna and i fit a lot of one of them i had the experience for and i said i believe in my heart that i fit everything but i'm not sure exactly i think they were partners with a company that i was about to leave and i, I don't believe they wanted any problems maybe one of the reasons so they were the contract the company that I was currently working for at the time that I just got that I didn't like so probably they don't want it to they don't want it any problems between them or rivals between the two companies so I don't know I'm, I'm just saying maybe that's why they didn't hire me but I was so broken I was so hurt 
hurt and I'm like, God, I drove so far. The, the company that I went to was close to where I was living, but yet for the interview, I have to go so far. And normally if someone said, can you pick me up here or can you take me there? I'm like, no, hell no, that's so far. But I went and I put my I Google, I put my GPS on and I followed it and I went at the interview and I just figured, you know, it's the one time drive. Hopefully I'm just going to give it my best shot. No, I did not get the job. So I was a little bit disappointed, disappointed and I'm like, Lord, you know what, probably you're teaching me something, probably this is where you want me to be. I don't know, I'm just going to give it my best because I wasn't giving it my 100%. So I'm like, I'm going to give it my best, my 100% and I'm just going to leave it to, into your hand. It's not my will, but your will. I just want to be, your will will be done. I just want to do whatever you're willing to do for me. And a few days later, I there was another job at the time that I had applied for probably during the time that I was looking for a position and there was one like mirrored exactly to my resume and they called me and I spoke with them and they're like okay but yeah they were looking for a male at the time because it was like a supervisory job a supervisor job on the um on the job site and it's on the job site and as I said I work with new home builders so it was on the job site and it was dealing like like um, be a supervisor for male and these males are like in their 50s 60s and up so, and i'm younger than them and i'm a woman so it happened that they were looking they thought that i was perfect but there was something else that they were looking for and they didn't find that in me and um but they were looking and looking and looking and they could not find anyone so they end up Iron me and I know this because I the person that, that interviewed me at the time told me that you know they, they weren't able to find that person so they offered me the position I'm like no it's not you it's not that you were not able to find the person God provided this position he opened this door for me and because he opened this, this door for me I'm the only person that will get this position so I got it and I guess they were a little bit scared or acting weird because they're not sure how well I would fit in with all these male figure because I was the only female that works on the site. So they weren't sure how would I fit in or if how I would feel uncomfortable. But I was comfortable working with them. I love my guys, they're older, we joke, we talk, we have lunch together, we look out for each other. And when they come on site and see how we interact, they're all like, wow. You know, they couldn't believe that we like I have such great relationship with these guys and they have such great relationship with me. And when I did when they did my review, they're like, We're so like it's so amazing how you are with these guys and how much they love you and how much they look out for you and with the customers we've been getting a lot of good feedback backs from the customers how great you are that you've been solving their issues and you go above and beyond so they gave me another raise which was great and you know i was there for a while and then recently i got laid off just before the covid thing that happened I got laid off, but God knows exactly what he, he's doing. He put me in that position for a reason. And I feel like I've gained so much more experience there. So my next time looking for a position, like I know this is a career move that I made. So I know that right now, like once everything is over with and I'm looking for another job, I know that God is still in the working business. He's still in the miracle business. He's still in, he's still a way maker. So I know that there's something out there that he's aligning up for me. And yeah, so that was my miracle job because no one wanted this position, even though they're hiring, they're hiring, they're looking for people. They found people that has more experience than myself, but they keep on saying no, they're refusing, some said it's too far, um, I don't know. And I was so much more closer to the to where it was that they were hiring. And I guess they just could not find anyone and then come to, to it. After um, they get to know me and everything, after all of that, that we were talking like at dinner once and they were telling me, you know, honestly, true, we're looking for a male, someone that will be, because we thought that a male would be more rough, the guys will be more listen to a male figure or, you know, like someone more stronger, stronger than a female. And they were scared 
of me being, you know, like they try to pick me up or anything at work. So it was, it was the greatest thing and I enjoy it. I love those guys. They message me here and there. If anything, they, they, we just message each other and keep each other motivated. I, I used to have them come into my office and I would play music, like gospel music for them. I would put on prior and then we worship and then they have to sit down and listen to it. Even if they don't want, guys, even if they don't want to listen, they still has to because I am their boss. So they not really was scared of me but then it they enjoy it so the encouragement that i used to give them the spiritual encouragement they enjoy it even after we spoke on the phone like after everyone get laid off we spoke on the phone and i can see that they miss that spiritual feeding that i used to give them on to the next one so i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month and remember again to keep yourself safe.